I very much like to confirm former colleagues to administration positions. It is rare when I object to an appointment. But in this case, I cannot support the confirmation of this nominee. Ellen Anderson was a motivated legislator. She served with many of us, and we know her to be extremely passionate with very strong beliefs about how energy resources, resources should be developed. Those same passions also manifest itself into a management style that allowed little room for open discussion and compromise. And in the context of the PUC and regulation of all our utility industries, that deeply concerns me. Her advocacy was well suited for her role in this body, but I do not believe it is appropriate for the commission, and I do not think it would be the best interest of Minnesotans. Over the long term, I do not believe her sitting on the PUC would be beneficial to ratepayers of our state. I look at a public career that has demonized traditional energy, energy sources. I look at derogatory references to, quote, dirty and dangerous fossil fuels or energy cartels that do not reflect well on the nominee. We all know there is always work to be done to move forward. Outright rejection of energy options that built this country and helped foster the highest living standards in the world is irresponsible. And while many agreed with her on various times on big principles to encourage renewable energy, I have deep concerns about her consistent efforts to marginalize traditional sources of energy she is now being expected to regulate. I see a nominee incapable of sitting, setting aside her personal beliefs for the greater good because our utility laws do not provide sufficient clarity to prevent someone from imposing an agenda on our in energy industries. I believe that when taken in large doses, her interpretation of the law would harm our economy and our Minnesota moving forward. No one can dispute how well qualified and how hardworking and how diligent and what a student of policy Ellen Anderson is. That is without dispute. Her resume was handed out on the floor and we see her long career of service in the field of energy and the environment. And it speaks for herself and she's an attorney and she, she knows the law and she knows it very, very well. As far as jobs in the economy, her commitment and her fidelity to creating jobs and creating the, the economy of the future is again beyond reproach and without dispute. Serving as the chair of the Green Jobs Council, practically every public comment she made while she was her serving to shape policy was about making sure we had a strong economy for the state of Minnesota, a place where people could have good jobs and we could build the jobs of the future. Members, I don't believe we've given former Senator Acting Commissioner Ellen Anderson adequate time to review her performance. I think we owe her that. It seems clear to me that this isn't about a record on the job, this is about something else. I think we would be wise as a State Senate to give her some additional time so that we can make a more thorough evaluation of her performance.